Where are all my business friends at? You want to tune in. If you are somebody who gets overwhelmed in your business very easily, I'm going to share with you on how you can manage that overwhelm. I don't know if you have been there, but when you become overwhelmed, you shut down. You don't do anything. I've been there, so if if you've been there, let me know down below. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jessica Hamas, and I am a beauty influencer here on Facebook. I love to come on here and inspire and motivate other people to live their life authentically and genuinely and not care what other people think. I also believe that we should be embracing our beauty, not only on the outside, but on the inside, our personality, our characteristics, our flaws, our strengths. We should be embracing exactly who we are because you are you and nobody can be you. So if that resonates with you and you're not currently following me, um, hello, you want to be doing that, of course, send me a friend request. I love I love getting to know new people that have come across my timeline here. So if you are here on the live, drop a one in the comments. If you're here on the playback, you know what to do. Drop a two in the comments. And of course, if you are brand new, welcome. Drop a three in the comments. So let's get started. If you are somebody who runs a business, whether it be network marketing, maybe direct sales, maybe you own your own brick or mortar business. Overwhelm. It's a thing, you guys. Overwhelm, it is a thing. And when it happens, we shut down. We don't do anything. And I have a few tips today on how you can manage being overwhelmed in your business. Number one, if you if you own a business, it should be fun, okay? It yes, are you going to have some stresses? Heck yeah. You're going to have some stresses, but when it comes to owning your own business, you should be having fun, okay? Not feeling constantly overwhelmed. When you feel overwhelmed, you don't do anything. So, let's go ahead and get that manageable. The very first thing, <laughs> The very first first thing that you want to do if you are becoming overwhelmed in your business is learn when to say no. If you are doing too many things, you become overwhelmed. Okay? So learn to say no. Is saying no easy? No, it's not. Okay? Many of us are people pleasers. You know, it's very difficult not to not to say no because then you feel guilty that you're not helping that person especially if you're a helper if you're a yellow okay if you are a personality yellow your instinct of who you are is to help people so when you say no to something it kind of feels weird i've been there i know because i am a yellow i'm also a green <laughs> um so learn to say no in your business okay especially if it's not going to benefit your business or it's not going to benefit who you are. If it doesn't resonate with you, then you say no. Don't do something just because someone else wants you to wants you to do it, okay? Or or anything like that. Be true to yourself, okay? Number 2, have a daily checklist. This is really important. Daily checklist in order for you to stay focused. Having that daily checklist, okay, write down everything that it is that you feel that you need to accomplish every day. Now, it could be a long list. Well, guess what? When you look at that long list, do you think you're going to get everything done? No. Pick the top three that are the must-haves that you need to get done and you need to tackle that day and do those first. Okay, if there are some daily tasks that are on your list that you could literally do in one or two minutes or less, get them done right then and there. Okay, don't even think about it. Just get them done. But prioritize your daily checklist. So important because it's going to help you stay focused so you don't become overwhelmed in your business. Number three, learn how to time block. I love time blocking, okay? 
Time blocking. You want to know exactly what hours you are going to work for your business. Are you working your business 24-7? Well, you know what? If you are, I can understand why you'd become overwhelmed. You have to set boundaries. You have to set boundaries, prioritize in your business. So use time blocking. Know exactly when you are going to work your business. Can I be working my business while I'm here at the hospital for a 12-hour shift? Not a whole lot. Do I work my business some when I am at the hospital? Yes, I do. I use my breaks. I use my lunch. I definitely I definitely will do something while I'm sitting on the toilet peeing, okay? I'm going to be honest. That is if I can go and do that, but I do because I've been drinking lots of water. <laughs> um, but time blocking, okay? This is where... This is where you can set it up to where, you know, even just doing little things in your business. If you run, if you run a business, let's say here on Facebook, okay, you can time block when you are going to do certain posts, okay? Everybody loves a motivational post, a motivational quote, okay? It really gets them started for the day. If you are a person who runs like parties on Facebook, virtual parties, okay, and this is a way that you get to know other people, this is a way that you get to showcase the products that you have in your company, you get to showcase the opportunity, this is where you can schedule that in the time blocking. If you have virtual parties, you can be posting in those parties. This is also where you can time block answering questions, okay? I answer questions throughout the day. I always check my messenger first thing in the morning. After I've gotten up and got a little bit of water and got the sleep out of my eyes and waking up a little bit, okay? The third thing, use text replacement on your phone. This is genius. If you don't know how to use text replacement on your phone, if you have an iPhone, all you do is you go to settings, you go to general, then you click the keyboard, and then you can do text replacement. I absolutely love text replacement. This is really good to use in your business so you don't get overwhelmed because many times in business, you get the same questions, right? So you're answering the same questions all the time, but what's really awesome is you can use your text replacement within your phone so that when somebody asks that specific question, all you have to do is just put in the little text replacement, okay, like op one, and it will answer that question because you already have that in your text replacement. It's really, really awesome to use. Um, number five, how to stay over, uh, how to manage your overwhelm in your business. If you're somebody who runs virtual parties on a social media platform, Schedule your parties to start all on the same day, okay? I used to do this all the time. I would start my parties on a Sunday. On a Sunday, they would end on a, they would end on a Friday, and it makes it so much easier, especially if you're somebody who has a lot of parties that are going on. I know a lot of people that that's exactly what they do, and they are extremely extremely successful. Now, using a party platform um, on social media, it's not for everybody, and that's okay, but if you are somebody who uses that, schedule it all on the same day. That's going to help with the overwhelm, okay? Don't have one start on Sunday, and then one start on Wednesday, and one start on Saturday, and one start on Tuesday. That can be very confusing. That can be very overwhelming. If you start them all on the exact same day, you end them at the same time, it's going to be so much easier for you and your business in order to schedule your posts and to be in those parties in that platform, okay? Um, learn what stresses you. If you know exactly what triggers and what stresses you in your business, learn how to manage that. If there are specific things that stress you, then know what those triggers are. That is really, really important because you don't want to be keep, keep on doing the exact same thing all the time and continually be stressed out. You need to manage that. You need to learn how to, how to get away from those stresses. 
Remember, if something doesn't resonate with you, then don't do it. Learn to say no, okay? The big key, take one day at a time. Take one day at a time in your business, you know? Owning a business, being your own CEO, being your own boss, it is a lot of fun, okay? You have to have a lot of passion in it in order for you to have a lot of fun. If, if you're not having a lot of fun, you might not be doing something that resonates with you. I'm going to say it. Yes, I am. Okay. If you are with a specific company and you are not having fun, it's not resonating with you. You're not going to get anywhere. You have to be... You have to have this passion of what you are in. I am very passionate about makeup. I am very passionate about skincare. I am very passionate about products at home, products for my babies, okay? I am very passionate about what I do. And if you're not passionate, it doesn't resonate with you, you are not going to be successful. You have to find what is going to resonate with you in order for you to find success. When you become overwhelmed, unplug. Social media can be very negative a lot of times, okay? There are times that I just kind of have to step back for a few hours. I'm not saying step back for weeks at a time, okay? Because then you have to start all over. It is okay for you to unplug for half a day or unplug for a day. Take a break, refocus, reprioritize, okay? Learn to brain dump. If you have a lot going on in your brain, write it out. That is going to help you have that brain dump, prioritize, refocus, and get right back in the game. Give yourself some grace, okay? Give yourself some grace. Learning what stresses you and makes you feel like you have excuses, get rid of those excuses. Give yourself some grace, okay? If you want a successful business, you have to make time for it. Plain and simple, my business friends. If you want to be successful, you have to make time for it. You have to work your business every single day. It has to become part of you. If it can't be part of you because you're just not having fun, you're in the wrong business. If it doesn't resonate with you, you are in the wrong business. Okay? So until my next video, stay true to yourself, be authentic, be genuine, show love to others, and of course, be kind. And I will chat with you guys later. All right. Toodles.